say this is the number okay number is 5 if i want to convert this into a percentage i go here right in the home button uh, click on percentage so 5 is converted to 500 percent so what does that mean that means that percentage 0 is 0 percent 1 is 100 percent okay 0 to 1 100 is not 100 percent 1 is 100 percent 2 is 200 percent 3 is 300 percent so on and so forth uh, it can also store dates for example uh, there's a formula for if you want today right you see this 18 7 20 20 right which is today's date uh, it can store text hello world okay one quick difference that you see between uh, numbers and text is what is the difference that you see between these and these absolutely alignment right uh, if you look at these all these are numbers actually even date is a number okay so excel stores all numbers or aligns all numbers as right right alignment and text as left alignment so if date is uh, you know right aligned what does that mean what if i convert this into a number let's check that out right if i convert this date I'll just copy paste. I'll just format this cell as number. Okay. I will copy this here and paste it. And what I'll do is I'll format it as a number. You see what happened? 18 7 20 20 is actually 44030. What does this number mean? This number is nothing but the number of days from this date. 0, 0, January 0, which is not actually a day, but you know, that's how the logic was built. There are 44,030 days between 1900, January 1st and today. Right, so 18, 7, 20, 20, when you convert it into a number, it will store as 44,030. Okay. That's how Excel saves dates. Anything beyond this date, Excel will not be able to read. For example, if I say 01, uh, 02, 1889, okay, and try to convert it into a date, uh, and say, and try to convert this into a number, see, it is not getting converted, right, and also it is left aligned, okay, so Excel doesn't know how to read this date, whatever is before 1900. Okay, cool. Uh, now again, let's say one date is 10 to 2020, date another date is 16 to. If I subtract these two dates, right, equal to uh, this minus this, I will get the number of days, okay, between 10th and 16th, right? Adding two dates, I will get a date which is actually uh, 87,748 days from 1900. So be very careful with uh, dates, okay, when, whenever you operate on dates. Now there is something called date time also. If you see this, let me convert it into a number. Okay, so see here, what I've done is I've had a decimal number, 43871.50. If I convert this into a date, uh, it will give me 10 to 2020. But what happened to that 0.5? If you see this here, right, that point 0.5 is 12 o'clock. Okay, if I do, uh, let's say I do point, uh, 0.57 and then I convert this into a date. 0 0.57 is 140, 48 seconds. So Excel also stores, you know, your date and time.